hello, welcome to another live stream. Uh, I'm Trina of Trina's Techno Babble. Uh, tonight, I guess I'm by my lonesome. So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, it's it's just me. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do about a PC that I have on my bench to to work on. It's a client's computer. They're saying that they can't get it to boot from the SSD. So we're gonna find out why it won't boot from the SSD and kind of go from there. Let's see who I have joining me tonight. We have Frank S. Hey, Frank. Eric Helgeson. Hello, Eric. Uh, Retro Vance. Garth Beagle. Carthor. Uh, Gut Bomb. Do, do, do. HC. Not, not quite JC level, like JC's brother. Um, Anyway, uh, hello, hello everyone. So let's change cameras. Find out how to do that. Brain not working tonight. It's been one of those days. There we go. So we can see the computer. Perfect. Okay. So this, let me stand up, is an Acer computer with a funky counter front. Kind of bevel or uh, like at an angle coming out. So put that down. Take the toolkit off it. I'm gonna take the screws out because there's two thoughts I've had while it's been sitting here waiting to be looked at. Uh, it was dropped off yesterday morning at 10 to 7 by a client of mine. I don't think I was fully awake. I had to because I was soon red heading out for work. So I'm going to take the side off for a sec. I know nothing about the specs of this computer, so we're going to kind of find it together. Now, according to the client, the drive has a uh, install of Windows 10 Pro. So it should be booting from it in theory. We're going to find out. All right. Da -da -da -da. All right. So where does the cable for this go to? So there's. We're gonna. Let me move the camera. Sorry for the shaky cam. Da -da -da -da. See if we can get in here. Not really. I'll stand it up. So we have three SATA ports right here. I don't see any other. Okay. Oh. If maybe I can move it. It's really hard to get in there. So what I'm wondering is, does the SSD, which is right here, uh, right here, connected to P3. Is it connected to that set of two, that set of three? Uh huh. That's what I thought. Let's unplug this one for a sec. That should be set of one. That's what I thought. So I'm double checking. Yep. So this cord here is actually plugged into SATA 3, but kind of picky. So we're going to plug it into SATA 1. I'm going to plug whatever this goes to. Why do we have three things plugged in? Oh, no, we just have two things plugged into SATA. Okay. So that can go into... Yeah. That's uh, two. All right, let's put these around. This might be a quick stream if this is all it is. Well, I would not be complaining. I'd be this. What else do we have plugged in? Oh, okay, all the top stuff. Cool. All right, we're also going to test a Microsoft. Let's bring it up a little bit. A Microsoft keyboard. 
da, 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 da. got it from work. I don't know if it works. We're going to find out together. <laughs> the old fashioned way, trial and fire. So I'll plug it into the USB port. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Hello, Javier. Welcome. Ready for some good zids. Ha 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 ha. Aren't we funny? Yeah, so, yeah it, it, I think the SSD is just kind of sitting in there. Oh. Hello. 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 Who are you? I'm Darth Geagle. Yeah, I know you are. I see that by your name. Upside down. Anti Garth. He's the anti me. Oh, oh, is he? Yeah, he's oh. pure evil. Oh, okay. okay. I ain't arguing with you. You ever wonder how Steve Jobs suddenly passed away and Garth Beagle was working at the company at the time? <laughs> it uh, seems uh, kind of convenient, doesn't yeah, a little, it? A little convenient. Yeah, I do have to agree. Just saying. All right, let's see if I can find the end of this power cord. Well, if you can't find the end of the power cord, you're not a very good computer technician. I know, right? I found it, though. Ta-da! I found it. Good computer technicians would taste it just to make sure it's still good. Um, We're not. I'm just going to say that we did. Well, if you want to do a half-assed job, I guess. I guess, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, uh, I have a mouse. There it is. You probably should get uh, your cat to take care of it. Not that kind of mouse. This kind of mouse. Oh, you you have garbage. Microsoft mouse. It works. That's the main thing. When I was working at Microsoft, I was fully against that mouse. <laughs> Were you? Yes. Who? I wonder if it was then Garth Beagle that designed it. No, no. Garth Beagle designed the garbage uh, Apple Magic Mouse. Yes, this is true. He said, "Hey, you know, it'd be a great feature if you have to charge it and." to get on the bottom uh -huh. and not be able to use your mouse for about a day. I just actually gave somebody one of those mice. That's what the new uh, M1 uh, iMac come with. Okay, so we're going to change the input on my video because it doesn't like to automatically do it, which is the one thing I complain about this monitor. Okay. Change it over to HDMI. Um, where's the power button? That's let's good. find let's find the power button, shall we? Together. We'll stand the computer up. Um... Frank S seems to think I'm Garth, but I'm not Garth. I'm Darth Geagle. <laughs> Very different. I'm qualified, and he's not. Oh, Trina's gone now? No, I'm still here. I just oh. getting some water. I'm just saying, those are a lot of broken Macs on the floor. So obviously, he wasn't doing his job. Where? On my floor? They all work, actually. Really? And, and people are running to get them. And that's actually Adele. I've seen her on stage. That is not Adele. All right, where the hell is the power button on this thing? Uh, oh, right there. Look at that. Found it. Ooh, it lights up. RGB okay. makes it faster. Let's see if we can get it to boot. Now, I don't know what it's booting from. That's a good question. What is it? You should uh, stop that fan. It's probably going to make too much noise. Take it out. Yeah. We don't need cooling. Look at the inside of this thing. But we Put an ice booting. pack inside of it. It'll be fine. We are booting. Slowly, though. Where is it still booting from the spinny drive? Maybe? I don't know. Boop. Oh, 
Okay, preparing automatic repair. Let's not put that up there because you can't see what's going on. No, the camera angles are fantastic. Aren't they, though? They are the best. We see the beautiful view you have outside of the building on right across that you could probably touch. Uh, almost. I don't know which, which drive this is going You know how uh, Heavy Air, I think, is uh, streaming tonight, too. Yes, he is, after my uh, apparently boring stream. Who would say that? He did. Did he? Well, he's probably he right. Did. He's probably right. Wow. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's restart. Let's see what happens. When this is fixed, you should give it to Frank S. Ship it to him. Uh, it's a customer's. Well, Frank S. could be a customer if, like, he sent you $3. Um, That wouldn't cover shipping, though. Again, that's not his issue. That's more of a you problem. <laughs> and also, it's a really good customer of mine. because They're going to be watching this video after because they're I invited them to watch it live, but they said they were heading out. So if if boy, they're a really good customer, meaning they've come to you many times. So that yeah. means you broke. That means you haven't really fixed their stuff. Actually, no, they've just been buying stuff from me. Oh, uh, is, this, is this the iMac person? No, no, no. iMac person's done and dealt with. They now have their new iMac. He said, do you want me to get you a three or four year old machine that you can put on your desk that? Okay, it's really we'll not get updates after the next two years. And they said, yes. All right. So we're going to shut it off. I'm going to see. I feel ignored. You're supposed yeah. to comment on the update situation. What update situation? That after the next two years, those M1s are not going to get updates. Oh, really? Is that what they're saying? Yeah. Apple doesn't update old machines. All right, we'll deal with him to it. He had a 2012. So, all right, so I disconnected the hard drive. Well, it's good that we can't see a thing because it's so pitch black. I know, right? But we disconnected this. You can't see a, that. Can a black cable all that right. we can't. Oh! Let's put some light on this situation, shall we? Look at that high end graphics card they bought. All right, so <laughs> probably. And lights back off. All right, so I just have the SSD at this point. It's pronounced SD. All right, let's see what happens. Because it's been, it keeps loop booting, so something's not happy. Did you try hitting it? Yeah. Huh. Reboot and select proper boot device. Press the any key. So it doesn't seem to have, yeah. Go into the BIOS. Tell it. Oh, well, he, he's already done all that work. So that's why I was kind of like trying the hardware side of things. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a key pressed. Okay, you should probably recap it then. Yeah, yeah, I just recap it because that's what it needs. Uh, how do I get into, okay. Turn Press, it turn it off and on 15 times and see if it gets in there. I'm going to try to reboot it. Delete. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Those options. I'm playing with an Amiga 500 that used to work perfectly fine, but now it doesn't seem to be able to boot to the USB without a... waiting a long time. I think that Javier guy probably messed it up. Uh, secure boot is disabled. Uh, we're going to go standard. 12 volts of ground. I'm going to change the boot mode, though. So what are you up to tonight, Javier? Probably putting 12 volts to ground again, because that's what he's good at. That's what he said. You know his real name is Javier? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if it'll boot. 
He's actually German. He's not even from He's German. Yeah, you can tell. I don't know. So either the drive's gone belly up, which is a possibility. Okay, so secure boot, we're going to disable. Do, do, do. Sad Mac 356 is here. Hey, Sad Mac. How's it going? Yes, the, the results are interesting to say the least. Boot options. Why is it not letting me do anything? All right, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying a new uh, USB. We're going to try a new USB stick. I love the, the camera angle of the blurry screen. Is that better? No. That's as close as I get it because the computer's in the way. Get a new camera that like you could click it. It zooms in. All right. You pay for it. I'll buy it. I'm not rich like Javier. Do, do, do. But I need this off U E I F. U E sorry, U E F I. I knew never given the letters. I say oh. change the power supply. And stop blowing into the microphone. I'm not blowing into the microphone. Hmm. Hard disk. So is it the drive? What okay. year is that BIOS from? I don't know. Looks super old. It's 2020. Not that bad. But I'm trying to find out. No, uh, Javier, I think he designed. He uh, He's starting to sell those uh, Apple II to. Uh, what was it to? A joystick? Atari joystick? Hmm. And he. Uh, He's going to start selling them and giving them away to his friends entirely free from what I was told. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try to... Gonna Stop try interrupting to... on my stream. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody wants to see this boring stuff. They want to hear about the joysticks. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to F10. I'm going to say yes. Let's see if it'll boot from the flash drive. Oh, well, it might be disabled. Broken. we go, Windows 10. See if I can see the drive and see if there's any partitions on said drive. It says low adding files. Yeah. Oh, God. Garth Beagle again with the comments. You know, he stole my uh, profile picture. Did he? Yeah. And then and then rotated it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a, my profile picture is a monkey hanging upside down. He took it and he flipped it around. Okay, let's see what's going on. All right, well, let's change this to Canada. Perfect. Blown out view is fantastic. Is it beautiful? I'm glad you like it. One of these days, I'm gonna get a camera closer. Strap a camera to your cat's head. Stop blowing into the microphone. I wasn't blowing into the microphone. Well, you were like, like that. <laughs> oh. They're happy now? Uh, we have to boot Gut Bomb off the stream. He's defending Garth. Uh, well, both Garth and Gut Bomb know where the link is to join the stream, so they can Shh. come on. Garth doesn't understand computer stuff, okay? Uh, it's not his thing. Well, that explains why it stopped booting. The uh, OS install is corrupt because there should be four partitions, and I'm only seeing one, two, and three. See, that's enough at work. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two. Uh, uh, oh, you can let yourself in, Joe. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello, Joseph. So Hi, gonna... Darth. Eat any good books lately? What? 
Trina knows that reference. I totally know that reference. That's amazing. I love it. Oh, Worf, macro head with a micro brain. I'm yeah, kidding. It's missing, one, it's missing one of the. Uh... So now gonna... that Joe is here, Trina, can you make yourself small and make him big and he'll show us cool stuff? Perfect. Actually, Joe can make himself big. He's he's a mod, so. You know. He did. Make himself big. Now, Joe, can you shave your beard and just have a handlebar mustache? Um, I am technically capable of doing that. But you won't. Why would I ever do something so freaking stupid as that? Uh, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to find a picture for a second. Maybe you should look on at the library for the picture. Uh, no, it's called Google. I really was impressed with the uh, the image you used for the stream. The, uh, you must have spent hours making that, Trina. I did. Um, by Speaking the way, you could look like the biker from the village people. I was trying to remember who had the handlebar. <laughs> hey, it's Worf's kid. <laughs> yes, look very, very, very closely at the object he's holding. Is it floppy drive? Floppy yeah. Drive. Those are freaking floppy drive fronts, just like taped to this thing. Oh my god, really? What are they? Eight? They must be eight inches. Uh, That's what they eight. all say. I don't, I don't know. Oh god! Joe, are you working on your HDMI CRT right now? No, I oh. am actually taking a short break. I'm doing all of the nothing. Um. How much do you know about ubiquity stuff? I know a fair bit about ubiquity stuff. What you need to know? Uh, so the school that I work for um, had it put in by a company called Fibertronics, I believe it was. And in 2020, they went, ha ha, you now own the stuff. Figure it out yourself. Yep. Oh. Um, and none of their Wi-Fi is working. And I mm -hmm. don't know why. Yes. So the first, I have lots of small questions, but okay. I can pose these questions to you. You, you probably don't have answers because you're just not that far into the details of what's going on yet. And that's okay. But these are the questions to ask so you can get to the point to fix it. Question number one is, is it locally managed with an on-site controller, like a cloud key or a software-based unified controller? Yes, it is. Good. Second, do you have administrative access to said controller? Apparently not, because I tried to log into the website the other night and it last night and I went, mm-mm. Yep. Mm -mm. Um, did this company give you credentials for it? No. Gotcha. So what has likely happened is, how can I put it? You can't, uh, actually, let me step back and. You can't do Jack. <laughs> it's hard to explain. So Unify controllers can either be run in like cloud or managed mode. Okay. And they can also be run in local admin mode. Okay. When they're in cloud mode, it's useful for managed service providers like Joe um, to have one login that works on all, every device that's un attached to it. And then I can manage the systems for my clients and they don't have to think about it, right? Um, it's likely that's what's happened in this particular case. So whatever credentials you think you have aren't right. They're just okay. wrong. And it's probably in managed mode through their master credentials. Oh, um, yeah. If that's the case, there's not an easy way out of it. It's possible, but it involves doing a factory reset of every single device and rebuilding the thing from scratch. Okay, then. I mean, you have the hardware, but you're just going to have to do a whole bunch of labor. If you're going to have to reset the cloud key or the controller or whatever it is. Is this controller, Is it again, it's a piece of hardware? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you'll have to follow Ubiquiti's res uh, whatever for resetting Instagram. that factory. Oh, sorry which I believe is there's a, a pinhole on the side of it and you power cycle it just like any old piece of thing. Right. Once you, you can log into that and re-register it, you can register it with a local only account. That way you and the school have control. Then at that point, what it is is now all of those access points are orphaned. 
So you have to go to every access point. Well, I would start by just resetting the, uh, the controller and then just see if the access points show up. If they show up and they're adoptable, that means that this previous provider actually wiped the network, which would be, it's good for you, but also it's like, why you jerk, did you do that? But whatever. Um, Cause if they wipe the network, then that means, oh, that I can get into it and just reprovision the devices and it'll be fine. If they didn't do that, and you log into the to the wiped controller and you can see devices, but it says it's managed by a different controller, then you're up, up poopy creek. Insofar as you have to go to every single device and manually st stick the pin in it and reset it. If Yay. there's like five of them, whoop de doo If there's 25 of them all across a huge campus, oh, fun. Oh, it's, it's well, it's, it's, just, it's, and... it's just a three-story building, and I think there's only like two or three per floor. So okay. we're not, so we're off not off. too bad. The, the only problem is I hate heights, and they're, they're on 10-foot ceilings. So, <laughs> this hey. is Well, this is where you, you make friends with the maintenance staff in the building and say, can you do me a favor and get up there? And like when you they get there, you can say, can you go to every place where one of these is and just take it off the ceiling and bring it down to the, the server room for me? And then you just do them, you reset them in the server room and program them in the server room. Yeah, that'd be nice. And then you, then you hand them back to him and say, can you put these on the ceiling for me? <laughs> That's what I do. Like when there's something up really, really high, like in a gym ceiling, I'm like, oh. yeah, can you go, can you, can you get your like scissor lift and get up there and get that down? I'm not, I'm not bonded and insured, so I can't get up on your scissor lift. I have good I news. Technically true. I have good news. I fixed the problem with the Amiga 500. In less uh, time than it took Trina to fix that Windows 10 computer. Uh, you solved the problem by realizing you never should have bought it, and you sold it on eBay, and it's already sold. I thought about it, but no. I changed <laughs> the USB drive, and now it works just fine. All right. Let's get this you use up. a different pen drive? Different. Yeah, I just put a, a new one. That was Trina it. is installing Windows 10. She, she's all up to date with those operating systems that are losing support in the next year or so. Oh. I don't I'm have still using Windows 10 on this machine. Works great. Stop it. Use a so Mika OS. I had a I was uh Trina invited me to the stream here tonight. I but did. I had to say well, I'm busy for a little bit. I'll be I'll be here in a minute. So here's the story. Um I have a client, they're a CPA, they use a specific software. I won't get into details about what it's called, you know, but they use a specific software that has all these different modules of these different version numbers. And the different the version number of the module just depends on whether that module has been up to date as more or less than the other modules and what modules they have installed because they do all this different stuff for uh, different states and federal and this and all that. Um, so they called me today to complain that the modules were out of date for one of the pieces of software. Now I just started managing this customer. So I didn't know the details of how the software works. I learned it today. So I logged into a computer and went through this whole process of getting remote access to this computer, getting logged into it as an admin going through the update process of Windows to make sure it wasn't a Windows update problem, updating their software, rebooting the computer, getting login credentials for the software because it's web authenticated, um, get into the software, look at all the updates, realize or look at all the modules, realize all the modules are up to date. And right as I'm finishing, they call me and say, we're sorry, Joe, we gave you incorrect information. That computer is up to date and it's fine. So I did all that work for nothing. So I'm going to send them a big effing bill. There you go. <laughs> hey. Other oh, than that, keep talking I'll about, why do they keep talking about retro techie in the chat? Who is that guy? Um, by the way, Carthor Karth is still running Windows 7. Hey, well, you they know, make a if, lot of mistakes. If it works, it works. Windows 7 just works. Right? It works. And as long as you don't have a problem with software support for the operating system. Yeah. 
be careful with it on the internet because it's not being patched as much. Yep. Yep. That's all I can say. <laughs> but otherwise not. I mean, if it works for what you want to do. Mm -hmm. yep. I use, uh, I use uh, Windows 3.1 for uh, managing my networks. Hey, all you need to manage your network is SSH and ping. Come on, you play me. Sleep. Oh, that's no, another funny story. So this is this is a new thing too that is annoying about Windows 10. You go to I used to be oh. able to just type in SL and it would bring up sleep settings. Yeah. Now it brings up Slack. And you have to be careful because if you press enter, it opens up Edge and wants to show you results for Slack. And I'm like, that's not what I want. It's funny. I was doing some other work today. There you go. Long story short, this, this guy has this network. It's all Macs. I don't have remote access tools for Macs yet under my business. I'm getting there, but I don't have it yet. Um, and there's certain things I need to get into the network to admin. So I need like a way to get into the network somehow. So I was out there earlier at the guy's site and enabled web administration of his firewall from my house, just on my IP address that happens to be right now. So I could remote into his firewall from the outside and make some changes to enable VPN because I was trying to enable VPN while I was there and I couldn't make it work. And, but, and I couldn't test it because I was inside the, whatever it is what it is. So I remote into it. I did get all this work done. I'm like, yay, it works. I have internal access. Great. And then I shut off the remote admin access to the firewall. And just as I hit submit, I remembered, I forgot to test to see if this VPN actually gets me admin access to the firewall. <laughs> And it doesn't because I forgot uh -oh. to turn the check mark on on the VPN setting to allow admin. Uh -oh. So I can administer everything on his network but the firewall. Nice. Who needs a firewall, anyways? Atera does Max great. Um, by the way, hi Thank to Ryan you. and Francois. Welcome. Joe, have you worked with JTAG? No. That's his hip hop, hip -hop name, though. JTAG. That's awesome, actually. <laughs> wiggity, wiggity. Should we say wiggity, wiggity, whack as well? Just to be really no, up with the time. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. I can't do it that fast. I also can't do giggity, giggity, giggity that fast either. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Yeah, my, my mouth doesn't move that fast. Mine does sometimes, but... Trina. <laughs> um... <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. <laughs> That's a mommy's and daddy's joke. All right. Okay. Now we're doing updates. Yay. But we're in the window, so. Why is it? Is this running off a hard drive, his, his, his whole no, computer? No, it's now an SSD. I'm running it off an SSD. I unplugged the hard drive. It only has like 87, like, gigabytes or more of crap to install yeah it's fine what uh what processor is on this uh behemoth? let's find out what let's just take the uh, cpu cooler right off as it's doing the updates it'll be fine. Uh, yeah <laughs> uh how about we don't and say we did uh, i think it's a ryzen i should install linux on my oldest mac just to see how fast it is do it That'd be fun. oh throw caution to the wall uh, it has an Intel Core i5 10th <coughs> Gen CPU at what 2. Gen? 10th. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, 2.9 gigahertz. 14th Gen right now. 14, yeah. I think. Or are we on 14? With eight gigs of RAM. Eight that's gigs. It. Yeah. Fine for like web surfing. Yeah. We had to upgrade all the. Well, we've been upgrading computers as they come in. Because the teams. Thank you, Microsoft. It doesn't work with eight gigs of RAM. It likes to lock up, no matter what the processor is. I run it with eight gigs myself. So take that. I have customers who have 16 gigs of RAM, and it's not enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm a nerd. I have 32. I have 
Chrome open with 57 tabs. How is your one copy of QuickBooks that ass? It's oh, it's QuickBooks. Euros. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah, that would do it. Oh, signed up a new customer today. Congrats. Very uh, phone, si phone system PDX customer, so that's fun. Those are my favorite. You set them up once and you never have to talk to them again. I spend... Except... Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, I was going to say, except when they're like, Joe, can you change the uh, the, the default greeting? Okay. I spend half of my day in Teams and the other half on Discord and the other part of it uh, playing solitaire while I watch my computers in Tune. <laughs> while watching live streams from people like Mac84, who didn't even mention me last night on people who uh, streamed over the weekend. But I'll mention I... his stream last night. Do you want to see I'm my not... bank statement? Deny. Yes, and the numbers. No. Um, my bank is smart. They don't print the numbers on the statement, only the last couple. Just so mm -hmm. ask them to handwrite it on the back of the statement. Oh, I, I mean, think, 37 cents in interest in my savings account. Great. I, I don't think an actual human actually touches it. If you request it. Really yeah, they we actually use, want it. We use teams at work. So part of my day spent in teams replying to people. See what those are? Ball bearings? Nope, those are screws. Those are screws for Pico Gus, baby. Oh, nice. So your parts are starting to come in. Yep. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Let's stay there. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Done with that. Done with that. I need to leave that open. Leave all of those tabs open. Great. Deleted, 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 <laughs> deleted, deleted, deleted. Oh, shoot. I forgot to mention to the guy that's picking up the computer that I installed Office on that Mac. Deleted. 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 Did I respond to this? I believe that I did. Check yes. your outgoing or sent item. Um, sent items. Yes, I did. Um, respond. By the way, Fr Francois has more than 5K open tabs. I want to see this. Who has 5,000? What? Francois How? says he has more than 5,000 open tabs. How? Maybe in his head. Yeah. <laughs> if they're all in your head, you don't need to keep them open in the browser. You just like type it in your Mac right back there because you remember it. Yeah. Stand by. Multiple things. But that proves that proves my point that he's a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mail on mail machine pins. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Okay. It's not loading any of the images I have. I keep pressing F eight, it reboots and it doesn't load. What did you, okay? What did you buy? Nothing. I changed the USB out on the uh, the floppy or the flash floppy uh, USB. You're running like three fourteen or newer. Oh, what is it? I'm running three fourteen is the last version I remember a number for. I'll just put it that way. Three point four one. Three forty one. So three forty one. I was correct. I just had the numbers backwards. Um. Okay. Check for an update. Did you try it without you? Um, actually, I'm confusing you with somebody else. I might be pressing the wrong combination. I'm, I keep pressing F8. Maybe it's F7. No, the F7. Machine does, <laughs> the machine doesn't have like accelerators or anything wacky in it, does it? No. Okay. Um, is it jumpered correctly for like drive zero or one? Yeah, it worked before. It's just the, flop, oh. the USB wasn't working, so I swapped it out. 
Now, boots from the Flash Floppy. I picked the disc image and I thought it was F8, but apparently it doesn't like that combination. Just reboots again. Oh, so you so you're cha oh you're changing the disc image, then doing refresh to get the to get Workbench to detect a different image, and then it just goes barf. Yeah. Uh, you're booting Workbench from the floppy. Well, no, it, it's not. It's yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not totally versed in the Amigas, but. Random thought. Does the Amiga, is it unlike the Mac where it can tolerate having its system disk ejected? I pull it out as it's booting? Huh? Say that again. Mac OS. Yeah. Like the old like System 6. Yeah. If you boot from a floppy, but you eject the system floppy, is as long as it doesn't need to reaccess the system floppy, it's okay. And if it does, it'll like throw the disk out at you and say, I need the system floppy back. It, does Amiga that tolerant? Like if you eject its system floppy while it's booted to that system floppy, does it go bonkers? Well, because it's not That's just a rhetorical question. I don't know. It's it's not technically booting from workbench. Okay. The way it boots is it's booting off of a, a flash floppy file selector. So it's just like a black interface that you just go up and down. You oh, select. you're booting a special thing that then allows you to pick the disk image yes. on. Okay. Yes. Um, I can't help you. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. It used to work, but it's not working. Maybe I should install Windows 7. Like, we need a copy of your sales, your resale certificate, your sales vendor. Sorry. Starting a business is a pain in the butt. Uh, here. Uh, I need to go to operational documents, founding documentation, vendor license. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. What am I doing wrong here? It was working um, perfectly. The issue is between the chair and the computer. Peb cac. Uh -huh. So your mama. Oh, oh she's here. here. Here's a secret. She's not actually here. I know you thought she was. Gotham, are you going to join us? He's having computer problems, he said earlier in the chat. Oh, did he? I didn't I didn't see the chat. I didn't see that. Sorry. Yeah, status update. I can't get anything booted off of my flash floppy. Uh, is doing something. Oh, in status update, I am watching huh? installs and I might be taking tomorrow mm. off work to go work at the school. So you're skipping work to go do another job. Exactly. Uh, will you get in trouble if they find out? No. So if I call them tomorrow morning and say that's what you're doing, you won't get in trouble. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna email off Mike tonight. Actually, I'm gonna do that now, and be like, uh, Mike from Mike's mess. Mike from Mike's mess. That's right. He's my boss at work. So that makes sense. Yeah. No. Okay. What am I doing uh, wrong? I'll try another USPA, as us computer nerds call them. I feel like Garth made this machine or something. Can we hear your phone call to uh, Mike? Uh, I'm emailing him. No, call him up. I don't have my I don't have his cell number, and I'm not bugging my boss at seven, almost eight o'clock. I'll email him. But why does he not care about his job? He does, but he doesn't. I mean, like... what's his full name? We'll all look him up.
You're not gonna give it, are you? Nope. That's selfish. Apologize for the um, quietness. I'm responding to an email. That's okay. I'm I'm emailing somebody, so sorry about the quietness on my end as well. And I'm the one because I'm the actual host of the damn stream. <laughs> Can we ban Garth from the stream? No. He's he's being he has a bit of an attitude problem. Ban ban Garth from the stream. Yeah, I think we can do that. No. There. I knew that was coming though. I didn't even say anything when you were doing oh, it. I was you said Garth, not Darth. No. Sorry, sometimes my ears just, you know, they don't work right. I'm what they call the original gangsta. With an A. Yeah. Garth is not better than Darth. Good bomb. Wait, his computer's not working. Is he watching on his phone? Yes. Okay, send that. There we go. Because if I try typing and talking, I'll either say what I'm typing or type what I'm talking. Dearest Mike, I love you. <laughs> um, no. Would you be my husband? Um, no. That's that's not what I said. <coughs> um. So so, uh, what happened to your computer, Gutbum? <coughs> it's running. It's running badly. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay now. All right. You sound like you were choking. A little bit. Okay. What's the sticker next to Tim Apple on the left of it? Next to Retro Tech or Die? Yeah. Retro Hack Shack. Huh. Okay. I don't know that one. Yeah. Um, can you message me on Discord and say what's going on, Gut Bomb? Someone else is using it. It's indisposed. But he said broken, and now indisposed is two different things. Yeah, his kid broke it. How much you want to bet Gut Bomb isn't actually on, and this is just um, uh, his daughter like engaging in shenanigans? Um. Possibly, but I can't see her spelling indisposed that well because even I would not spell that. Oh, that's right. You can't spell library either. Right? Yeah. Well, no, I can spell library. it. I just can't say it. That's the problem. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey Trina, I have a question for you. Can you pronounce a, another word for me? Okay. Ready? February. February. No. That's how I say it. Be quiet, you. Say Feb. Feb. Say Rue as in RuPaul. RuPaul? Just say Rue. Rue, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I'm Airy. reading a message. Feb Rue Airy. That's how Feb you say it. February. February. No. Not Take Feb that. Feb Rue. Oh, whatever. Like febrile. February. That's how I say it. Be quiet. Well, you, you say it wrong, and I'm trying to correct <laughs> you. But yeah. Let's, let's go let's, back to I'm uh, advice or else. Uh, I I'm I'm old enough that I'm not going to change my ways. I'm going to be true. She's very old. Old people who don't change their ways end up uh, end up uh, uh, giving us Nazi states to inherit. This is true. Well, that went very dark very fast. From February to that. Hey, you know, <laughs> it it's me. That's a new T-shirt from JCM-One.com. <laughs> Crippling despair in every order. I start putting like Nietzsche uh, quotes in every order or some crap. <laughs> so according according to Gutbomb, uh, the computer is, and I'm quoting, this is a direct quote, is taking a shit, end quote. Nice. It's funny that you he put it on Discord so no one would see it and you just oh. read it out loud. He's, no, in, he what he's trying to say, say is the he's in the bathroom and can't be on the computer right now. You don't take your desktop to the toilet with you? 
I don't um, think I can roll this huge desk. I mean, do it. No, it's not moving. It weighs more than my car. And we'll go to your other delivery station. The he toilet. Just, he just wants this. There you go. The toilet. The model. Okay. The turlet, as they say in Trina's town. Uh, I think Toronto is more than a town now. Oh, sorry. Cesspool of humanity. So I think what Gut Bomb's trying to say is that his computer is downloading all the porn off Pornhub. Since he, it, all he's saying is the computer's currently. He's being very coy. Busy. I know, right? It's not worried. It is what it is. We will not pressure him to develop. Oh, oh okay. He's he's in the middle of installing Haiku, and oh. it's not going well. Just use Mint. Linux Mint. But Haiku is cool. Yeah, cool and usable are two different things. It is totally usable. Haiku is modern and is kept up to date. You can get on SSH crap. So with it. So is, SSL crap. So with it. so is Mint, it. and it just works. Yeah, but Haiku is funner. <laughs> funds. Okay. Listen to me, Joe. The Yay. word is fun. F U N. There is no hey, word hey, funner. I say it. <laughs> I say it the way I'm going to say it. I'm too old to change. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd come back with that. Uh, I'm going daily haiku for a week. Once it's done, lol. All right. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a computer laptop at work for Gut Bomb that is relatively newish um, that I can bring home. And I'm going to mail it to him. I'll put an SSD in it and mail it to him so he can install any Linux he wants on, a lap on this laptop and it won't F up his main computer. I need to create a new order for Javier. And then I might hop off of here for a short period and go hang out with Javier because he's streaming right now too. He got his 128K Mac today. He said he was going to wait till I finished my boring stream. I have not finished my boring stream. So yell he at him. He scheduled it for eight. That's all I know. All right. I will. I'll end it at eight then. I'll end mine at eight because literally. It's 804. So it's already Is it time really? To oh, oh, shoot balls. Okay. Like if you want um, to. I'm not trying to force you to do anything. No, 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 no. It's fine. I mean, literally, the. I told the customer I was going to do a live stream. He said he wouldn't be back till midnight. So what I found out, the install that you that the customer had on the SSD, it should be four partitions, but it was only three, which is why I couldn't find the operating system. I see this at work when hard drives fail to clone. It sometimes only clones three out of the four. Mm -hmm. um, and we have the same problem. So I've reinstalled the OS. I'm installing the updates. Um, I will contact the client in the morning and just let him know what's going on with it. Um, oh, I didn't know. What is Haiku if it's not Linux, Joe? Haiku is, it's its own thing. It okay. was designed to be Unix-like, but it is literally its own. It's not Linux. It's not Windows. It's not Mac. It's its own kind of custom thing that came around in the early mid-90s. Okay. That was... It was being vetted to be the replacement for Mac OS, but they ended up going with BSD instead. Yep. Speaking of BSD, um, Haiku it's F7. Asks, it is a is a bottom up rewrite of BOS that follows all of the the, the entire BOS API, and, so, and they've modernized it. So, cool. yeah. All right. So on that note, um, Gut Bomb, wishing you all the best with Haiku. Just use just use Linux Mint though. Seriously, just, just use Linux Mint. Be done with it. Um, less hassle. <laughs> um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It'd be really great if you did. Thanks. Or so unsubscribe. Much. Do it, or Joe will get mad at you and hit you with a hammer. Uh, yeah, I'm at or report it. I'm at two forty six right now, so doing good for for viewers. Do it. Um, but yeah.
go Did over you... check out Javier or what is it? Have, have Master, isn't it? Have Master. Have Master. Or ARC Have Master is his name on the Yub Tubs. Yeah. Yep. So go go check him out. I'm gonna go join him and bug the living poop with him that he scheduled a stream <laughs> while I did. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone, hey have now. a good night.